What's up, people? What up, people? So, it's been a while, but I'm back. And actually, I am back in my old house for time being while I'm visiting family. So, I figured I'd just go ahead and finish it up here instead of driving all the way back to Atlanta and finishing it. And yeah, so, save time, I did it here. Anyway, but yeah, that was a fire intro, wasn't it? This vlog is basically just going to be an update on what's been going on you know a few details here and there picking you up putting you up on date or whatever what we're talking about also is this xt4 it is a very nice camera so i got this camera around the same well actually the same time i got the fuji gfx 50r and i love it it's, it's basically like the XE4, except you have more buttons on it and more accessibility instead of it being as minimal as the XE4. And I like that. You know, you have your ISO on this side, which is easy to turn. And then you have your shutter speed on this side, which is easy to move. It's, it's just convenient instead of having to press a button to go through the menu and find it. That's just one of the things. It also has image stabilization, which if you notice in this clip right here, you know, that's, that's, this was shot with the Fujifilm. Also, this other clip was shot with the Fujifilm, as well as this one. And if you notice, the colors in it are crazy. They look very cinematic. I barely put a little bit of edit on I mean, like, straight out of camera, it's perfect. But I put a little bit more, just a little bit more contrast, maybe darken the shadows a little bit more. Not too much. You probably saw Woody in here, too. So one day I decided I was going to do a photo challenge with some cards and I think it was something like make what was it find a toy a small toy and bring it to real world or something like that and um so I decided to do that with Woody and that was taken with the X-T4 I'm not sure how I feel about those photos which is why <laughs> that vlog was kind of scratched I also ended up getting some more plants. I guess you could say I'm a plant dad now. I have several. Um, I picked up two more from the, what is it, the Victorian? Yes, I picked it up from the Victorian. Very cool people, very nice people. I really enjoyed the experience I had while I was there. I took some graduation pictures with the X-T4. I used the 50R also. But we're not talking about the 50R right now, we're talking about the X-T4 and what it's been doing, how it works. These pictures came out crazy. All right, so it is a hot, hot day at Mississippi State campus. I got my boy John with me. I got a sharp boy here, man. I'm here, it's out, it's time to go. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory on who he is. A couple years after I graduated, his mom hit me up to take his prom pictures. And his pictures was actually the first set of professional pictures that I took with my Nikon D750. And I didn't know how they was gonna turn out. He didn't know how they was gonna turn out. But they trusted me to see how everything was gonna go. And it came out good. So now we're back here. He's graduated from Mississippi State, so shout out to him. And guys too. I know it's been way too long, yeah I've been on the low, just counting up Focused on the paper, not no feeling, show no love Brand new vibes, get me a light Woo! I had a 16mm lens on there that, that day I was shooting. Right now, I currently have on it a 27 millimeter. These are the same lenses that I have for the X-E4 because they're interchangeable. They have the same mount. The wideness of it, the colors, I like the warmth of them for sure. They were just very 
to me, very editorial in a way that can't be replicated with a cannon. I'm probably going to get jumped on for saying it. Well, y'all ain't jumping me. But anyway, y'all probably going to react in the comments about that. But like Fujifilm colors are just crazy to me. I love them. Like I said, I the camera profile that I use in here is not far from anything wow you know what I'm saying it's pretty much just basic but I still go in and make some adjustments I still had to edit this picture and you know originally it looked like this I transformed it into this so editing still has to be done but that's also personal preference there are presets that you can have for this camera they call them um film recipes which replicate actual film stocks i haven't really done that yet maybe i'll do it later in another vlog where i set up some film stocks on here and just kind of test that out but right now this is just me and my own little setting that i use i did one quick shoot with this camera i met up with jeff one day and we kind of shot for a little bit real brief you know got some video footage we got a little bit of footage of me talking right quick so you guys can hear that and kind of see how the the microphone sound on it and yeah we're just gonna swap over to that like right now all right so i don't know how this gonna sound but this is with the xt4 so it's gonna be a little quick thing a little quick shoot for my boy jeff so back at it again. you know how it is so we actually back in meridian so i'm gonna shoot this up then i'm gonna slide back to that now this is just a little recap like a, you know some in between the vlogs or this may be a big vlog i don't know what i'm gonna put it but when I put it together, y'all gonna see everything I've been working with lately. I'm thinking this man got an ankle monitor. This That's man, you know what I'm saying? Little money, little flex. True 055. So yeah, there was a lot of wind in that, but as you can see, like the quality of that is very legit. You know what I'm saying? It's not like broken down or anything. Maybe a little over bit exposed, but that was a really, really sunny day. And I got a project for that too about, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna tell too much about it. Anyway, but yeah, took a few photos so you guys can kind of see. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing more photo shoots with this X-T4. Originally this X-T4 was meant to be Replacing the Canon 5D Mark IV as my primary camera for my professional work. So that's what this camera was meant to be, and that's what it's transcending to be. Only thing I have to do now is just get a few more lenses, but I'm gonna tell you, man, these lenses, they talking about 1600, 1800, 1300, and I'm just like, bruh, y'all killing me, man. I'm trying to buy a house right now. Anyway, took some pictures with Jeff. You know, I think I think they are crazy. That's just my personal opinion. I really like the colors in them. I love this camera. I'm in that weird phase of wanting to carry it in my pocket, but also maybe get a camera strap. But honestly, this won't fit in my pocket. It kind of will in the back pocket, but you're only gonna get about that much in there. And when you're dealing with that much hanging out of your pocket, you're looking at it falling out. So. Just keep that in mind, unless you got big baggy cargo pants, you know what I'm saying, to fit in there. So I'm getting back in the groove of carrying this or putting on a camera strap. I haven't really picked up my XE4 since I've had this because I've been trying to test this out, get more familiar with this. Um, will I be doing video with this camera? Maybe if I'm trying to be downsized and not use my Sony and I don't want to carry around multiple cameras, I more than likely I will, especially with the rotating display. It's very beneficial. So that comes in handy. Like I said, it's easily accessible to change your settings, your shutter speed, your ISO, your aperture. You know, I like having this ISO right over here. It's just so much easier. Again, this is just a vlog to help kind of showcase what I've been doing. Also, I shot the rodeo. That's where the bull came from in the beginning. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. I tried something a little bit different with the music. Um, a little bit more cinematic than before. 
that was shot with the Sony. I'm really just out here having fun, man, trying to live. But you're gonna you're gonna see a lot more content with this XC4. I mean the XT4 for sure. So the next vlog that I do will more than likely be me doing a serious shoot with this camera. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time, maybe before the week over out. I don't know, but yeah, see. You.